every kilowatt hour of electricity we produce is, is not being produced by, by imported coal or oil. It's not being, it's not polluting the atmosphere. It's not motivating the government to be involved in, you know, foreign wars over, over energy. And it's provided Michigan jobs. I can hear it in my sleep. It's the tinkling of a massive chandelier. I, I've been working in the renewable energy area now for the past four and a half years, uh, trying to uh, develop a project which could be economically viable. A, a lot of people are interested in renewable energy, but the challenge is to, is to do it and not lose money. Uh, and this is the largest solar generation project in the state of Michigan. It's uh, 147 kilowatts AC. It was all put together, built here by Michigan workers. And in fact, that's part of the process of the whole renewable energy thrust in Michigan is that it's all locally oriented. My son did all the engineering design work. I handled the legal financial acquisition issues. And our third partner, Rick Schmidt, who we approached who is a landowner, helped with the land issues. Everything that's here, they, the engineering stuff, my son Connor and his friend Josh Cook, who we hired, designed it. Then they had to set up a factory, build the tools to make these things, make them, ship them out here, and then, uh, and then install them. Our goal in this project was, at, when we were done, to have not lost money. What we're acquiring at each level is intellectual property. How to do it, how to do it cheaper, how to do it better, how to do it more competitive with other people. The retail cost of each of these inverters is between $3,500 and $4,000. You know, I'm looking at something that I think should cost about three, dollars $400. In mass production with competition, we paid about 10 times that. Well, if this thing cost three dollars to $500, and those panels out there had a, had a uh, typical or a similar reduction in price in 10 years, in 15 years, we beat coal, we beat oil, we beat everybody. Our biggest remaining challenge to the uh, outcome of this array is the tax issue. The good answer is a simple legislative fix, which is to make renewable energy products, projects, small-scale renewable energy projects, just completely free from any, from any property tax for the life of the project. I mean, Jennifer Granholm has laid out a program where Michigan is trying to position itself as the world leader in renewable energy technology for manufacturing jobs. In other words, I'd like to see those inverters we saw inside made in Michigan. And I'd like to see the solar panels completely made in Michigan. Uh, a lot of that technology exists in Michigan, but we'd like, it, we'd like to get more of it, more jobs, more future, you know, in a clean technology.